Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we got the next world tournament. Um, I had a little bit of metal so I could uh, easy a uh, two of these characters before we actually get the world tournament rewards. Uh, for the rest of them, I'll wait till we get the rewards here. Um, so this Vegito probably is a decent time to release this guy. Um, right now, Boo Saga is pretty good. Uh, and this Vegito is built around being used on Boo Saga. Now, I went complete dodge on him. I, I think, I mean, I don't want to be rude here. Let me not do that. But obviously, this guy has two jobs. Um, to buff, right? He, he has nice support, but he has to dodge. And he has to dodge. And again, I'll repeat myself. He has to dodge or we lose instantly. Uh, one thing I can do, however, is, yep, there we go. Perfect. We change this right here. Let's just do this right on the fly. Uh, and give him the extra additional right there. Because uh, his super attack effect is going to be very nice, right? On his super attack effect, uh, he is going to be giving allies 30% attack for one turn. So, it's like, you know, we could pair this up nicely. Uh, we need to run this guy on a full Boo Saga team. Uh, so that, because he gets, what is it? 3% uh, attack and defense per Boo Saga category allies on the team. Um, I don't really mind a World Tournament sub EZA being heavily restricted like this. And a Boo Saga team is a legitimate team right now. I do want to run this guy on a 200% leader skill specifically, though. So, these are the 200% leader skills we have. Tech Zamasu. We could run, but it's going to be a bit of a mess of a team. Um, obviously, SCR Carnival Goku sucks. Uh, and then the 8th Anniversary LR, they're not the greatest, but they're not like... Well, uh, you know, let, let's just pray that no attacks are aimed at them. I mean, they'll be able to do their standby, which will get a little bit easier and stuff like that. Um, let's just go ahead and jump in. So we'll run LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta leader um, for us to get the 200%. Uh, Vegito does also get a guaranteed additional super if there's a Buu Saga category enemy. So I think we'll maybe hop into the Majin Buu Absorption stage to fight against Red Zone Buhan and uh, see how these guys can fare. All right, guys, so here we are in an event uh, going up against uh, Boo Tanks right here. Uh, so this will work pretty well. All right, so Vegito, the thing about him here is that he does actually have to be run in slot one. So Vegito, let's just quickly go over his passive. We'll, we'll explain about him. So he gets 150% attack and even start a turn. Sure, two key, 150% attack and defense and a 70% chance to dodge as the first attacker. Now, I believe this was updated, and with his EZA, he should now be set, right? Like, he's going to have the dodge right away, which means we, we could go for it. Now, I understand. I mean, this is a free-to-play character that we're running in slot one. So, it, it's like, yeah, we could do it, but he could pretty easily get just completely disintegrated, right? Um, so, he does have that. Uh, he gets a guaranteed additional super if there's a Boo Saga enemy. Uh, he gives 30% attack and defense to all super class allies. And then an additional 3% attack and defense per Boo Saga ally on the team. So, with a full Boo Saga team, which we're running right here, uh, we're actually going to be giving, what, 51% attack and defense? So, that's going to be pretty good. Uh, then he gets 50% attack when attacking. 20% uh, defense up to 100% per attack performed. That almost probably would be better uh, if it was defense per dodge he did. I feel like that would make more sense, but it's fine. And then he has an additional with a high chance to be a super. So, I mean, one of the silly things you could do is the way it works with counters and stuff like that. If we'd have the CGL Vegito in slot one and he, you know, double, triple, quad supers like he can. And then this guy gets a bunch of counters after. This guy could put up like, you know, oh my god. But it's just one of those things that's not very um, practical. All right, so let's see what we get. Uh, Vegito's super attack effect. Now, I, I mean, he's world tournament free to play, I guess, is why they do this. But unfortunately, he only gets 30% attack when he supers. I don't know why he couldn't have gotten at least 30% defense right there. He does supreme damage the enemy, and then he gives all allies 30% attack for one turn. So it's like, man. I, wait, who is sealed? It's Boo again. Boo again. All right, Boo Tanks has been sealed both turns right here. All right, so, you know, maybe it's not the biggest seal. He doesn't get defense when he supers. Because at the end of the day, he's, I mean, going to need to dodge everything anyway. 
So we're going to have this. We're going to have a guaranteed additional super, which is this right here, because that's where fighting a Boo Saga enemy. Then he could do one more built-in additional right here. It's a normal. And then we could get a hit on potential system additional as well, which we do, and it is a super. So there's three supers. So that's three different 30% attack buffs for the rotation that he just gets. And he dodges every attack, and he dodges every attack. Beautiful. Uh, they're up to 10. I feel like that's a little higher than I usually see them at. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, yeah, they're 200%. One of the categories is Buu Saga. So the entire team is running with a 200% leader skill here, which, I mean, if you look at our, our HP is 764, right? Consider we have a world tournament free-to-play character on the team, and we still have 760,000 HP. So you could see how the full team being on the 200% leader skill um, one of the big things that'll really do is affect our HP. Alright, so we'll get a couple of turns like this. I mean, this Vegito, I, I don't hate this Vegito. Um, I mean, he could be better, but again, I, I just can't find it in myself to hate this guy. I, I don't know, maybe if they just gave him, like, a separate dodge proc. I, people think that I'm, like, like, super obsessed with dodge. But, like, listen, at the end of the day, I would rather just run, like, a Beast Gohan character, right? Who just, like, tanks everything rather than relying on dodge. I mean, if we're going to have a, like, maybe they do this for, like, a summonable character. But, like, you know, he gets 70% dodge. You like that? But then maybe, like, a separate separate 50% dodge proc. That would be very powerful. I don't think they typically want to go too much higher than, like, just 70%. But if they would, you know, like, a you know, imagine a, a Dokkan Fester, an LR they have 70% dodge, and if that fails, then they'd have a, a separate 50% dodge proc. And then that fails, and you could have, like, hidden potential system dodge. That would likely be pretty reliable. Uh, should we go for the LR, Goku and Vegeta, trying to get a super here? I probably don't want to... <sighs> Man, I, let's, just, let's just do this. I don't want to risk putting them in, like, slot one or anything like that. Uh, wait, actually. Wait, hold on. All right, yeah, I'm mentally programmed, because typically it's the smartest way to play, to get a lot of same type words, get us closer to the Dokkan attack, while also simultaneously getting us closer to... Uh, well, just, just getting HP regeneration. Um, but remember, we're carrying STR Vegito on the team. So, what would actually benefit us a lot, considering Boo does damage to us at the start of every turn, is if I don't get same type orbs, we heal, we transform into Vegito, and then we're good to go. All right, that's what we're going to do here. All right, so Ultimate Gohan will go ahead and sit Boo Tanks down. Um, Boo Tanks, when we see him again, will have um, locking that we'll have to worry about. Damage right away, and then we get Vegito. This is the type of thing where a lot of times people, I mean, can be very disingenuous, but like, you know, they would do like this, and they'd be like, guys, it's so easy to transform a Super Vegito. And it's like, well, yeah, I mean, this fight is actually kind of like, is kind of designed around getting Super Vegito out. I mean, really, that damage he does at the start of turn is not that big of a deal. All it really did was just allow us to easily get Super Vegito out. I'm going to do this transformation right here. It could be cool to continue to stack up and stuff like that, but like, let's just get this right now. Oh, by the way, um, EGL Vegito has a lot of good links, but it's kind of like the, like, okay, so he has Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for battle. Power bestowed by God. Fuse fighter. Brainiacs. Shattering limit. Again, he's got a lot of good links, but like that specific combination of links is not like the greatest, right? If we take a look at it, this is what again this specific combination of links looks like right here. And as you guys could see, it's not like as great as you'd like. Um, even once we transform into STR Vegito, it's only going to be three links, but it's going to be pretty size up. Uh, a good. It's going to be good. So, here, let's just go ahead and play this. I mean, it, we're doing a showcase for a Vegito character, so yeah. Alright, so we have STR Vegito out. Uh, we're also going to have to... No shot! Well... I mean, this will be the end of the video. Yeah, I mean, this is what... When you're running a shitty character, 
I mean, this is all it takes. It's just like, okay. So we're dead. We lost. You know, oh well. But, uh, I mean, we could at least see Vegito look good and STR Vegito look good. The, honestly, this just killed me for this video. This just killed me for the video, man. Oh, my God. He's up to 300k, huh? So, I mean, remember, I mean, he's building up defense as he attacks. Huh. I guess we did do four attacks that first turn. So, he'd need to do one more attack, AJL Vegito, and he'd be built up. Um, Could we kill Buhan here? If, dude, Buhan, like, look, you can just, guys, look at the screen. Look how many attacks Buhan does. This phase is definitely designed for STR Vegito, right? Like, we all see it with our eyes. Uh, all right, now we lose. This is the friend, so they have zero dodge, right? Like, they're going to have zero dodge. Yeah, yeah, we lost. It's all good, though, because, we'll, I mean, at least... All right, dodge everything, buddy. No, don't, you cannot do that. I mean, it was so... Uh, sure. Okay. Well, I mean, damn. If Buhan was only doing a little bit more attacks than slot two... Uh, all right, so if he gives us three or four, that's going to be really good for Vegito. Okay. Remember, every one of these is an attack buff to Vegito. Every single one. Okay, no hidden potential system there. All right, Vegito. Fifteen, huh? All right. Uh, I believe the build I have on this guy is the Beast Gohan build right now, so no dodge shenanigans. So chance of initial are pretty good. We get it. Okay. Alright, so his damage is uh juiced. Let's just say that for sure for free. Alright, these will do a lot of it's gonna do a lot of damage right here. These that's like crazy. This is why like yeah, it's pretty that's actually insane. See how much damage he's doing? This is why people will go, oh my god. Like yeah, okay, well yeah, alright, here Buhan, here, hold this. Holy hell, that's I mean that's a lot that's a lot of damage he just did, dude. Kids, he just hit really goddamn hard. But we lost because the kid decided to super attack in slot three. I don't think they can kill. I don't know. Are they going to quad super quad crit? I, like, we're dead. Okay. Bastards would watch us. Watch me su super slot three. Ha, 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 So funny. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, the, the good news is we did see the value of EGL Vegito. Um, I like him. I think World Tournament, I, you know, setting expectations significantly higher than this. I mean, sometimes World Tournament characters can be Mr. Boo, but that's not going to be super common, right? So, I, I think AGL Vegito seems pretty solid. Um, they did make it to where his 70% dodge is activated at all points in slot one, which is good. Um, let me, I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back. Um, probably going to fight one of the immortal bosses, or I guess I, maybe I'll just hop right, I'll probably just hop right back into the same one. Let me just do the five attacks of the HL Vegito. Let me bring you guys back once we've done the five attacks with him to see him fully built up. I mean, that was kind of just horse shit. But again, this is where, you know, it's it's easy for people to be like, oh, every character is so good. And, you know, oh, you could beat every event with them and shit like that. But then just, you know, moments like that happen. And it's like, well, GG. See ya. So, all right, we'll come back when HL Vegito is fully built up. All right, guys, um, just real quick. I wanted to get this rotation in. I just reset. So we saw that Vegito dodged super attack right there, which is the most important thing. Um, we see Vegito gets a number of attacks in here as well. Um, but one thing I did want to show is we do start to not dodge as effectively as I would like right here. And we can see that we are actually taking damage, about 30k. Um, this Tanks is honestly not a tough boss. I mean, that just goes to show where, like, it's, again, I mean, this guy is all about dodging. If he's not going to dodge... Uh, you're just going to flat out lose, unfortunately. Bootank says normals. Guys, he's doing 350k, right, with his normals. I don't need to even explain any beyond that, right? Like, it's just so, okay. All right, anyway, um, we'll come back. I just want to come back once Vegito is fully built up. We'll have him next to Super Vegito again. Hopefully, uh, LR Super Saiyan 3, Goku Super Saiyan 2, Vegito don't get killed before then. Hopefully. All right, here we go. Uh, I think that this unit did get enough stacks in that we're not dying here. Sheesh, dude. Okay. All right, we should be okay. Jesus, dude. Uh, this character, man. Like, <laughs> I, you know, sometimes it's not that easy to hide shitty characters. This this unit can be okay, but it's not in base. It's when you go into their standby. That's when they're okay. 
They are not even okay in base. All right, guys. So I guess there's probably no reason not to just show this right here. So uh, we have SCR Vegito out again, you know, with our links right here. Um, we are going to be able to have uh, here. Wait, hold on. Let's hit this. So this will activate prepared for bat or uh, excuse me, um, power of my God. Well, it should. It's just, I guess, well, I guess because he's sealed. Because he's sealed, it's not activated, but that would be this link right here, which is on super attack as the buff. Okay, but sure, we're sealed. Whatever. Um, all right, but the doing the attacks we're about to do right here um, is still going to get Vegito uh, all the way built up. I believe we need to do two attacks, and Vegito is going to be max built up in terms of his defense. So I guess we'll just come back next turn, um, and we are going to have Vegito fully built up next to STR Super Vegito, which will be good for us. Um, yeah, perfect. And we're dodging everything this time? Yeah, perfect. If he does that, uh, he can have an impact because he's not just dodging. He's dodging and he's supporting, right? Like, it's pretty big. I, like, he, he's, he's got stuff, this, this AGL Vegito. He's not a bad character. All right, guys. So here we get to this rotation. Uh, bro, look at this nonsense back here. Does this game just hate me or what, bruh? Uh, all right, that's a fair amount of attacks in slot two, though. This time... All right, so we are fully built up with AJL Vegito. Um, this time, I think we could just kill this guy uh, before he gets a chance to do any nonsense. Uh, I guess we'll just... Let's just do this as well. Let's just do it. I know I didn't... Oh, I didn't optimize and get orbs. But whatever. It doesn't matter. It's, we're, that's not why we're here. Yeah, let's just hit this. Well, actually, just give me the most we can get. Turn it on, turn it on. All right, this time, yeah, there's no slot three sl sniping because we actually got the attacks in this time. All right, so we're up to five million. Again, every super attack he does is going to give STR Vegito buffs so that STR Vegito's damage can jump up. I mean, you could look at this AGL Vegito as just an STR Vegito juicer. That's like, that's, that's kind of what the purpose of this guy is, I guess. One more? Oh, we got the quad. Uh oh. Oh, father. Oh, no. Oh, God. And STR Vegito, I mean, he's got legendary power-up and shit. Oh, baby. And those counters, man. Because remember, this guy is going to be guaranteed critting after three attacks. It's 100% crit or something like that. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, sure. A lot of damage. All right, not a crit yet, but that's the... Oh, don't worry. Starting, like, now, right? Now it's just guaranteed crits. That's a lot of... Yeah, this broke it. That's a lot. Uh, certainly. I get it. Yep, bye. Uh, let's just do one more rotation, I guess, and we'll probably finish up. I mean, we're kind of, like, seeing, you know, what the combo is and stuff like that. We see him with 200% uh, stats. Uh, okay, this is not a problem at all. Yeah, we'll get one more turn, and then we'll finish up. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get this last turn right here. Uh, thanks to Super Vegito Scouter, we know that we are not in danger of dying. Thank goodness here. Um, all right, so let's just go ahead and see how this is going to go. We'll just let this full turn play out right here. We've got four links for Vegito. I guess one thing to keep in mind is we aren't able to go in slot one. We are fighting a locking boss here, but I don't... I mean, Vegito is not going to get killed. Well, I guess the thing is, is that like when we see his defense, I mean, that two key 150% attack and defense that he gets right there... That should activate, I guess, like, as soon as the third character gets orbs, basically. Like, the same thing how Vegeta and Trunks actually have a higher defensive slot in slot one than you can see. It's probably the same thing with this Vegito right here. So, are we going to take significant damage? What does this boot tanks do right here? He does 500k with his normal his boot tanks. Let's see how much damage AGL Vegito takes. We could probably kill boot, boot tanks, honestly, uh, with AGL Vegito attacks, though, maybe? So, let's see. Alright. So, I guess, I guess it's good because we'll see him out of slot 1 as well. Uh, so, our dodge right here would be strictly the dodge we have available to us thanks to uh, Hidden Potential System. Which I did... I gave him some... You know, I made it as high as we could get it, basically. So Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, there's... Ha ha ha! There's the answer to that. Uh, and that is with him fully built up. So that boy is a feather out there. Make sure he's in Salt 1. All right. So there was the AGL Vegito. Again, considering he's a World Tournament free-to-play card, I feel like he's actually pretty solid. I, I don't hate this guy. Um, I mean, maybe they could have given him a little bit more. I think like a secondary dodge ability could have been good. 
Like, okay, so he has his 70% dodge in slot one. Maybe he just has a baseline 50% dodge chance or 30% dodge chance, right? And even though they would be separate, that would still be good for a character that is definitely going to need to rely on dodging 100% of the time. So this is Unstoppable Power Vegito. Leader skills, AJL type, key 3, and 100% of stats. Nothing crazy there. Uh, super attack is the Big Bang attack. So he gets 30% attack for one turn, Supreme damage the enemy, and then raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. So that's kind of the big one right there is this. So, I mean, if they don't want to give him defense here, that's another reason why I'd like a secondary defensive or d dodge chance. I think it's probably the best way to go about with making this guy a little bit better while keeping the spirit of the unit the same and stuff like that. So his passive, whole other level. He gets 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gets two key, 150% attack and defense, and a 70% chance to dodge when placed as the first attacker. Again, this should be activated even with attacks that go before Vegito attacks. That's good. Uh, he gets a guaranteed additional super against a Majin Buu Saga category enemy. Um, I mean, so this could be potentially be good for like maybe free-to-play players to get another at least solid character to maybe use against the Buu Saga red zone. Uh, regardless how much people hate World Tournament, which I'm, hello, I'm right there with you. It's not tough to just get the, you know, what is it? The 20 million points to get two copies of this guy for like for free. That's not tough, man. It's not hard to do. I'm sorry. It's not hard to do. Um, so you could do that and actually get this guy and he could be helpful for free to play players. Uh, then he gives 30% attack and even all super class allies. And then the 3% attack and events per boo saga ally in the team. So when you have that combined with this and it's like, there's real justification to running this guy because it's like, he's heavily supporting big characters and, I mean, there's a good chance with his dodge that he's not going to get you killed either. So, like, I I, I do like this design. I, I, I think very positively about this Vegito here. Uh, then he gets 50% attack when attacking. He gets 20% defense up to 100% per attack performed. Um, and then he has a guaranteed additional with a 50% chance to be a super. Pretty solid. Link set is Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Power Bestowed by God, Fuse Fighter, Brainiac, Shouting Limit, he has a lot of good links. The specific combination, though, we don't really have a ton of characters that are, you know, going to share five, six, seven with him or something like that. But he does have a nice link set there for sure. Uh, and then in terms of the 12 key multiplier, um, yeah, again, here's his best linking partners. Uh, multiplier is at 140. Oh, it's actually a little bit high, actually. Usually the number you'll see is just 140%. Maybe for some of these free-to-play characters, it could even be lower. 145, okay, not bad right there. Uh, and then, remember, these are his 200% leader skills, not the greatest. I mean, if we're really running a Boo Saga team to win, we'd probably run double Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But obviously, for this guy's showcase, I wanted to run him on the 200% leader skill. Um, and then finally, uh, our boy Vegito is on a couple of category teams. But, I mean, we don't have to run him specifically on a Boo Saga team. I, I guess it's like all it does is it just gives him stronger support, right? So, you like, even just 30% attack and offensive support is solid. So, I guess, like, if there was, like, a Patara mission or something like that, we could run this guy. I'm kind of tempted to give him a sticker. So, there, of course, is the Majin Buu Saga team. That's, you know, a pretty competitive team at this point, for sure. He's also on the Patara category team also, sure. Uh, I always love Patara buffs, man. I, I feel like Vegito... We are ready for a top one in the game, Vegito. Like, I think, like, Tanabata or Worldwide just being best unit in the game, any type of Vegito, I don't care. Super Vegito, Blue Vegito, I, I think it would just be good. It would be good. Uh, then, Vegito is also on final trump card. Um, you know, more options for teams like this is always good. Uh, he's also on Battle of Wits as well. Um, and then finally, our boy Vegito is down here on the Fuse Fighter category. Yeah, you know, this guy's solid enough, man. Uh, let's give him a sticker. I, I don't really have many stickers nowadays. Getting rid of Chain Battle. I didn't used to be this low on stickers, but they got rid of Chain Battle. And oh, what a surprise. Now I'm really struggling with stickers. I will give this guy a sticker, though, because, I mean, just, you know, point blank. Um, I feel like this guy's going to have value moving forward. So let me know what you guys think of this uh, EGL Vegito EZA right here. But this guy seems pretty good. Uh, I do not hate this guy at all. In fact, I rather like him.